Hey there, rock stars. Sarah Rock and Robbins here, author of the best selling book, Rock Your Network Marketing Business, and creator of the CD series, The Rockstar Recruiting School, and my new one for leaders, The Masterclass Edition. Welcome to the blog at sarahrobbins.com. You know, I'm so excited to talk to you during a new series that we are launching this week, talking a little bit about having a plan for action. Our company just got done with our major convention, and as you know, those types of events bring a lot of excitement and really an expectation for what's to come. Now, if you're not careful and if you don't have a plan of action, oftentimes we get home and of course we get into our life, we get into the daily grind and you know, quickly we start to notice that that energy and that excitement it can start to wear off. That's why it's so important that we have a plan of action in place for our rock stars, especially as we go into a new season or we come out of a major event. Well, fall is here, and what does that mean? Well, the kids are back to school, so it's time to get back to business. This is a great time to put a plan of action in place for your team. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you take my 30-day challenge. If you need something every day for you or your team, it's a great system. You know, it's one thing to say, you know, you know, talk to five people every day. It's another thing to say who and how. That's what my 30 day challenge was designed for. So if you go to my blog at sarahrobbins.com on the little blog section, the little uh, topics on the right hand side, if you're on a desktop computer, just find the 30 day challenge, click on it, start on day one, go all the way through 30. Take it with an accountability partner. But what I thought I would do over the next few weeks is share with you some of the new challenges that I'm putting in place with my team. You see, I just had a retreat at my house for my top level achievers. We called it the elite retreat and it was a few days of boating and bonfires and bonding and brainstorming and we had a really great time together. Now I love these retreats. They're my highlight of the year because I learned so much from my leaders. By the way, you can see all the pictures from it on my Facebook. But um, you know, we get so many great ideas from one another and I always learn so much from my leaders. And um, on our Saturday session, we always do a little bit of brainstorming together. Last year we talked about our top team builders and time savers, but this year we talked about how to drive and duplicate leadership within our organization. And and one of the things that I realized was a lot of my faster growing teams were implementing what we call challenge groups, 21 day groups, basically Facebook pages with small groups of people where the leader would give a challenge or rotating leaders would give a challenge each day to the team. Again, not just telling them call five people today, telling them who and how, giving them language to reach out. So I just started that with my personal team and the results have been amazing. They've been scheduling three-way calls with me. My calendar's totally booked this week. It's crazy good. They're bringing on new customers and new team members as a result of this challenge. So I wanna share with you some of those challenges. I'm gonna just give you little snippets of them each week on our weekly blog. So today's challenge, it's going to be the first one that I shared with my rock stars, is going to be all about um, revisiting people. Because as we left our company convention, I said, you know, if ever there's a time to join the business, the time is now. Every time you leave major events, there's something exciting to talk about. So I want you to challenge you this week or today to reach out to five people that you talked to in the past, okay? Whether it be a former customer, um, a prospect, maybe even somebody told you no. Because typically, I always say the fortune is in the follow-up. People don't say right away, no doesn't mean no forever. No just might mean no, not right now, or I don't know enough. They're watching, they're waiting, they're seeing other people on Facebook, and you might hit them up at just the right time that they're open and receptive to the conversation. So you know, I wanna challenge you to reach out to five people with the following language. You're gonna find it to copy and paste over on the blog, but something like this. You know, reach out to them and think about what's new and exciting in your company, whether it's a product or a promotion or even just a season in business that you could reach out and say, you know, so and so, I had to reach out again because you have been on my mind. I just can't get you off my mind. I just keep thinking about how amazing you would be at our business. You know, I know the timing wasn't right before, but ever if there's another, but if ever there's a time to take another look at our business, the time is now, and here's why. 
talk about, you know, kids being back in school. It's a perfect time to launch their business in the fall. Talk about any new products or promotions in their company and simply say, you know, I'd love to treat you to coffee and see if now might be a better time for you. My treat and ask them what their schedule is like and offer to treat them for coffee if they're local to you and if they're long distance, a virtual coffee, a little Starbucks gift card and a chat over the phone. Again, the challenge is five. I want you to post below what your results were and what you learned and I hope you to, to see you on next week's challenge on the blog at sarahrobbins.com. For now, head over there, scoop up that language and get some more ideas and don't forget to share this with your rock stars. Have a great day and God bless. Thank you.